Hi, this is Muscle, and welcome to the next video in the Let's Play Bloodborne series. Be sure to check me out on Twitch where you can see me play games like this and more live. The link is in the description. This is going to be Let's Play Bloodborne episode 22. Let's get started. This is going to be a great episode. Welcome back uh, to Let's Play Bloodborne on my channel. Uh, this is episode 22. This is where things start getting real interesting. Uh, from what I was talking about before with the Nightmare of Mensis, um, this is definitely where things start getting super interesting. Alright, so we see a treasure chest over here. Typically, these are for Chalice Dungeons, so let's pick that up. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a yellow uh, backbone. Cool. Not sure what that's for. Apparently, it's a Chalice Dungeon thing, so uh, yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, these little guys here, they won't attack you unless uh, you attack them at first. And uh, later on, really quickly later on, not uh, not way later on, but like sooner than later, they're going to start attacking you because uh, their little guy or whatever told them to attack you. So here's a, here's a shortcut. So we're going to unlock this. This is the first of many shortcuts. We're going to unlock this one uh, first and foremost here. That brings us back to that lantern with the giants. Remember the giants from last episode? Yes, uh, they are here, and uh, that is where the first shortcut is. And there's many more to come in this area. It's a very vertical-based uh, area, so um, lots of these little elevators are going to be all over the place, and we're going to be getting uh, most, if not all, of them. Uh... There's one that we're definitely not going to get because I didn't want to do a super in-depth walkthrough, quote-unquote. But, um, like I said last episode, there are plenty of resources out there for you if you want to get 100% of this game done. With that being said, uh, these guys are just kind of staring at you right now. Uh, they're pretty creepy. No need to kill them until this guy comes at you. Once this guy aggro's on you, then everything else will aggro on you. See, here they come. They don't really do any damage either, per se. They just stun lock you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to kill him. Uh, just to get him off of our case here. So... Good old PlayStation frame drops. Gotta love it. Could have something to do with the uh, amount of stuff I have on my PlayStation 2. I actually have a ton of content on my PlayStation. It's a 2 terabyte hard drive and I've almost got it filled up, so... Yeah, we're just killing this stuff. Um, these guys, honestly, they're not... They don't pose a big threat. Like, you can see right there, they're just kind of, like, kidney punching you or whatever. They're not really doing a whole lot in terms of damage to you at all. Uh, the only thing is, is that they're basically a damage sponge. So anyway, once they're all dead, uh, you can go back down there and handle that guy uh, without encountering uh, uh, too, too, too much uh, resistance. So it's actually really good. His attacks are pretty one-dimensional. You stay uh, over to his uh, left side or your right. Um, you won't really have too much problem with his attacks at all. Dropped a dirty, damp uh, blood gem, which is nice. Uh, some of these gems that these guys are dropping at this level of the game are actually pretty useful. Uh, if you're not doing the chalice dungeons, down there is a secret area. Um... There is a way to get down there. There is a way to unlock an elevator that goes down there. Me, personally, I'm not going to do it, but there is a uh, special emote that you can learn down there. And uh, it it helps out. It's I can't remember what exactly that emote does, but it gives you a blood rock um, later on, I think. If I remember right. I've only beat this game one other time before this, so... And I, that was everything. The DLC, everything, so... I might do the DLC uh, as an extra series for this. I'm not sure. 
but my uh, Soulsborne series type things are probably going to end on this channel unless uh, I see that people want to see it from my perspective. But um, if they don't, that's fine. But I am going to um, I'm going to do other types of videos. Probably more Let's Plays, but uh, I'm probably not going to do any more Soulsborne until the newest one comes out, uh, and then I'll do I'll do a Let's Play on that one. And we got a nice uh, stagger there, uh, brilliantly done, visceral, and it's dead. Well, fortunately, we can't grab the item that was attached to it because it just fell off the cliff, but whatever, it's dead. And there's a lot of enemies um, in this little area here that have crossbows, and those crossbows uh, deal... Uh, I can't remember what the uh, the, the build-up thing is. It's either like a poison or a bleed or something. Either way, when the bar fills up, you, do, you take a bunch of damage, and that's what we're trying to avoid doing. All right, so here's the next elevator. Uh, this elevator here... Uh, leads to another area in this, obviously. So, we're going up. Um, and the reason why we're going back down, <laughs> you didn't know. I just, I had this feeling that there was something hidden over here, but, um, yeah. We'll go back up. I just wanted to explore just a little bit more. Just an itsy bitsy bit more and see if I could find uh, anything that I might have missed, which obviously I didn't miss, so uh, we're going right back up. Alright, so uh, this is where things start getting really cool in this area. Um, there are some different types of enemies in here. Uh, one of the enemies that we're about to encounter right off the bat here is that. It's a bird, a half bird and half dog enemy and you get that uh, both variations you get the, the ones with the bird bodies and you get the ones with the dog bodies as well so the dog body one has um, a crow head and the crow body has a dog head it's like the weirdest thing that one right there it just stood up very dangerous enemy probably going to uh, I'm pretty sure this one kills me Yeah, because I didn't have any healing items. And I dodged wrong, so that was that was my bad there. So luckily, we did get that shortcut. Uh, so, we're going to head right back out that elevator there. And, uh... What we're going to try to do is run straight to the next elevator. not fight everything hopefully yeah I just go right by him avoid falling in the pit so stay in the safe zone here for a second Let's get on this elevator and get out of here. Alright, so that's how you navigate that little sketchy part without getting killed. Alright, back up here. We now have 20 blood vials, so we should be okay uh, for whatever comes at us. I did not see that guy up there at first, uh, but he is the one that dropped down last time. So we're just going to try to give him a little bit of incentive to drop down. Now these things still, even though they are a weird uh, version of the crow, they still drop pebbles. Yep, 
see, they just dropped pebbles there. So that's fine. Uh, we're not really using pebbles very much at all this playthrough uh, because there's no real need to unless you're like just starting out with the game and you don't know where things are and you don't know like how to deal with it. Uh, there is an item in that cage over behind me and we are going to get that right now. So just roll over or do what I just did and jump. It's fine. Get that tempering blood gem uh, level 5. The level 5 gems are actually really good. Uh, they're probably some of the better ones you can get in the base game without going into a chalice dungeon. Uh, chalice dungeons are where you will find the best blood uh, gem fortification items uh, in the game. Uh, so just make sure that when you're uh, in this game and you're searching around you're trying to make your build amazing. That's where you need to go is your... Um, you're going to need to go to the Chalice Dungeon. Uh, especially for PvP. PvP type things. Oh, there's a Bloodstone Chunk. That's nice. That is exactly what we need. We need more Bloodstone Chunks. Lots of them. Kin Cold Blood level 10. Perfect. That's exactly what we need as well. Okay, there is a shortcut over here. This is a multiple shortcut area. So uh, first shortcut is the one you can get into right now. The next shortcut is a little bit further up. So let's get into the first shortcut. Ride it on down. See where it goes. Okay, so it's going to take us right down to that lantern again. This one's going to bypass that first shortcut there. So this one takes you up another tier. Let's go back up it. I like this one because it's a little bit more secure. The, the gate actually shuts, which is nice. <laughs> the next shortcut, the gate doesn't shut, and it's, uh, it can be a little bit harrowing at times. So, that's where we are. Uh, that is the next shortcut that we've unlocked, and we're heading in here. Now, you don't have to go off to the side, but that's what I do. Um, I think there's an item over here. I can't remember for sure. But either way, uh, you can go over to the side here and sort of get a better look at the enemies that are about to come at you. Through that archway is the next boss. Now I have edited out some of the boss encounter just to make uh, it a little bit faster for the video. But sometimes this fight can take like 30 minutes. So in itself. So just keep that in mind when you're doing uh, this. Luckily, the shortcut brings us right to this fight. Um, and you don't have to worry about it too much. So if you do die to this guy, then you'll have a shortcut back. Or some say cosm. Do you hear our prayers? Oh, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. Alright, so the first part of this fight is pretty easy. Uh, what happens, he go, he runs into this room here. Uh, these adds will spawn. Uh, his biggest attack is going to be that little reachy arm thing that he does. Um, I did die in here once, as you can see, with the blood echoes just laying there on the floor. I'm going to uh, try to kill these enemies first. Uh, they don't ever actually really die, but they go away for a minute. Sometimes that's all you need, just to get a little bit of uh, like a space or an angle. But basically, the way this, this fight works here is you want to bait him into doing that while you're strafing. You get behind him. He'll do his, he'll do his reach attack. Get behind him, charge up a heavy, and then you can stagger him. I didn't stagger him there, but I will 
and you'll be able to see it. That is probably the easiest and best way to do uh, the damage that you need to do to Mikalash. So I'm just sort of baiting him. Missed that one. We're going to keep on strafing. See, he just, that's what he does. Missed that one again. I think I was starting to get a little impatient there. There we go. Got ourselves a visceral and the fight is over for now. A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. Okay, he's just going to be talking and blitter blathering basically the entire time we're going to look for him. Uh, this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, so what's going to happen here, is we're, we're going to explore this area. We're not really actively hunting for him. There are some items in here to pick up, though. That's probably my least favorite thing he does. He's going to do it multiple times. Uh, he's just going to get on your nerves for the most part, if this is something that gets on your nerves uh, in this game. Probably one of the most annoying bosses in this game, but he's, he's one of the easiest, too. It's really not that hard. I think Amygdala was probably harder than this guy. So anyway, uh, heading up. Got a lot of these respawning enemies just laying around. And that is where we fought him before, so it's kind of confusing, a little bit disorienting how this uh, whole place works. But yeah, go through here, uh, get to this spiral area. Uh, you can go down. All the way down is going to be an item that you might want. Including this, uh, which is bloodstone chunks. Those are always, always wanted. We got some sedatives here. Now we have a couple of enemies uh, that do uh, actually a substantial amount of damage. Um, so yeah, just make sure that when you are fighting these guys, you are respecting the amount of damage they can do to you. And uh, just play smart, because they are not the same enemies that you encountered uh, down below before you started fighting Mikalash. Alright, so we're still heading on down. We're almost to the bottom. We have a few more enemies. Crossbow enemy number one and the big guy. So big guy, we're going to go ahead and uh, gonna do what we can to keep that guy off of us. Completely off of us. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's go get that item. Let's see what we got here. Dirty, damp, blood gem, level 5. Nice. And we got the moon. Now, that is a much improved version of moon over the one we're using right now, which is super nice. I'm pretty sure moon is the one that increases blood echoes uh, for every kill you have. So, super nice. Uh, dirty, damp, blood gem, level 5 again. Lots of those uh, blood gems are dropping here because this is basically end game. We're at end game right now. So, uh, further up here, we have lots of blood vials, which is what we need. We also have one of these dangerous enemies here uh, that look like an old enemy, but they are actually in a much improved version of that enemy. Okay, here we go. Going across... A little bit confused here uh, as to where to go, but eventually you're going to find uh, exactly where to go. 
Once you end up by the mirrors, you know you're pretty much in the right spot. We're going to grab this item here, Quicksilver Bullets. And we're just going to skip to the right area. Which is here. Just go around this area. Get this chunk. And right below us is Mikalash. Can't really see him, but I will target him. There he is. You gonna jump? See, I, I jumped and I tried to get a visceral. Didn't work. That attack right there is his most dangerous one. It's the only new one he has. Kind of acts like Mitsurugi on like Tekken. But yeah, he's he's an easy kill. This guy really is not a threat that's it right there done If you found this video without being a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It helps way more than I can articulate, and it means a lot to me and the channel. Also, follow me on Twitch for more games such as this and many others. Let me know in the comments if you liked or didn't like the video, and I will try to respond as soon as I see it, and this will also let me know if I'm doing things right for you. Feel free to check out the links in the description, and I will see you next time in the next video. This is MuscleYTG signing out.